Hi, Jody Ann Johnson here, people champion and strategist with the 100th episode of Coffee with Jody. And how apropos that that is actually happening during National Small Business Week. <music> National Small Business Week is uh, September, and the SBA, the Small Business Administration, is having a small business summit from the 13th through the 15th. It's virtual and the intent is to actually celebrate the 30 million small businesses and small business owners that have shown such resilience, such ingenuity, such generosity, such fortitude over the last 18 months and to celebrate that and to celebrate it in a big way. As we enter into the fourth quarter of 2021, and our economy is opening up in some ways. It's got some contraction in others, but you know, largely people are optimistic that it's opening up. We have the opportunity to truly complete the year having accomplished the goals that we set out. Now, how do you do that? Well, first and foremost, you have to have a goal and it needs to probably be beyond. I just need to survive. <laughs> and then once you've got that goal, then you have to go out and learn any of the pieces of reaching that goal that you yourself as an owner may not have or your team and knowledge that they need to go and get. Once you get that knowledge, then you can be doing, begin to do the planning that is necessary. In lean thinking, which I've talked a lot about over the last hundred videos, says that you want to plan slowly, really take the time to do the critical thinking and to speculate and the what ifs and to look at what are the political forces that could be at work here? What are the societal, what are the trends? What are the things we need to consider? And then once you've got your plan, then you go and take action. What I see most business owners do, and there's something to be said for it, I'll agree. They'll just go jump in and figure it out. And that's fine for certain things, but when you're planning on the success of a company, then you really do want to take the time to go and get that learning, to do the critical thinking, speculating and planning, and then take your action plan. And then that action is to be implemented quickly so that you can take advantage of all the work you've done prior to that. But it all starts with having a goal and then followed by learning. That's where the SBA's virtual summit comes in. They're going to be having a number of speakers, a number of uh, panels, a number of breakout rooms with um, education and some Fortune 500 CEOs that came through the small business route and how did they do it? Um, that's always inspiring to me. It's like, how did you do it? Or how I did it as a podcast. And, and learn. Sometimes I would go and I'm an avid learner to a conference and you know come back with all like sheets of things that I wanted to implement. It was too much. And we didn't really have the time or the team or the resources to, to make those things happen. Now when I go to conference, I'm listening for the one, two, at most three golden ideas that I can come back and implement right away in my business that will help me to be more successful tomorrow, next week, and next month, next quarter, and next year. So I invite you to go ahead and jump into the Small Business Virtual Summit. You can register for it at sba.gov, National Small Business Week, and, um, and get yourself in there, even if you can only watch part of it. You can get the agenda and take a look at what are the ones that you want to see. That that's it for today. Have a goal, go learn, begin to do your planning and your speculating and your critical thinking. Write up those actions, implement them quickly, and your chances of success just grew exponentially. If you enjoyed this, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to find out more about how small business coaching can help you in your business, then please schedule time with me on the calendar link below for a discovery call. And yay, hundredth one. Thank you for being with me.